I usually upload this video on Saturday, but this weekend is special. See, yesterday there was a 15 or 17 mile garage sale. It's called the Horseshoe Road Garage Sale. It's not too far from here. And of course, I had to go check that out. So I have found some unbelievable stuff. Let's check it out. So the first thing I want to say is I don't do a lot of live video game hunting. Uh, and the reason for that is, is there are a lot of collectors and a lot of resellers in this area. I don't want them to see my little honey holes, if you will. I don't want them to see uh, the people that are my contacts. Uh, I worked a long time to build up people I can trust and people that will that want to work with me and do fair deals for somebody just to go in and ruin it. So that's why I don't do a whole lot of live video game hunting. With that being said, uh, this is going to be a long video. I got a ton of stuff. But the first thing we're going to start with is the games and game systems. So I picked up four game systems. Three of them are DS's. <clears throat> These are all in pretty good shape. The screens are in decent condition. They all had screen protectors on them. Um, the kid I bought them from was probably 14, 15 years old and he kept pretty good shape with them. So uh, the last system I got was a PS3 Super Slim 500 gig in the box with two controllers. Now I didn't get the best deal on this. Uh, the lady wanted 75 and I talked her down to 60 so there's that. Oh, and one of the DS's had one of these Nerf cases. Don't really care for those but okay. The games. So uh, came with the DS's. Mario Kart DS and Deal or No Deal for the DS. The original Xbox. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. X-Men Legends. And Madden 08. 360. NCAA Football 10. A lot of people are, are want to play these NCAA football games. So I, I always get them. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts and GTA episodes from Liberty City. Alright, we'll go with the Wii. Tony Hawk Ride, Training Camp, Lego Lord of the Rings, uh, Cookie Mama, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon. PS2. Spider-Man. I don't know how many copies of these I've sold. People love this game. Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Great game. NBA 2K10. GTA Vice City in a destroyed case. Rocky. GTA 3, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Midway Arcade Treasures, and um, a GTA Vice City. PlayStation 3, Ultimate Alliance 2, and Medal of Honor. I picked up one. Genesis game and it is Sonic. It is not complete, but it is not the not for resale, which almost all of them are. Two PSP games, Madden 07 and Spider-Man Friend or Foe. GameCube. GameCube games are getting so hard to find and uh, when you find a stack of them like this, it's unbelievable. Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, Pac-Man Fever, 
Pac-Man, uh, Pac-Man World 2. Finding Nemo. The Incredibles. Tetris World. Super Monkey Ball. That's a fun game. Day of Reckoning. And Rally Championship. Now, I have saved the best for last. I did see uh, a couple of boxes of Nintendo games. Uh, they wanted way too much for them. Uh, for me, anyways. Uh, I found one box that had NES and two controllers and a gun. And I like three games, four games. And they wanted $100 for the whole box, which is way above what garage sale prices should be, if you ask me. Alright, so I saved the best for the last as far as the games go. And once again, I I have competition here, and I know that my competition gets up way earlier than me. I got out there about right at 8 o'clock, and um, I know because people told me that I, they had a couple people come through as early as 6.30. That's crazy. But somehow they missed this. And uh, they might have just not been out yet. That's a good thing. Uh, you know, just because you're getting out at 6.30 doesn't mean that everybody's going to be set up at 6.30. You're going to miss those people who set up at 8 o'clock. Super Metroid. Complete. How much? I didn't pay more than a dollar for any of these games. Including this. I think price charting has this but $110, $120. A dollar. Alright. So I picked up a lot of toys. A lot of toys. That's something that I don't have a whole lot of competition around here with is the toys. Everybody does the video games, but nobody does the toys. Uh, McDonald's toys. I always pick these up whenever I see them. So I got a Superman, I got a couple Minions, um, a Beanie Baby, another Beanie Baby, this Bart Simpson thing, I'm not sure what it is, uh, Angry Birds, it's a Transformers mask, there's a Luigi, I'm not sure what he is, if he just stands there, but it's a Luigi, and I'm not sure what these are either. Oh, it's a mousetrap. I paid 10 cents a piece for these. I put these in the dollar bin and people, kids come in and buy them. So, unless I find something that's older. I also picked up in the same bin, these are the little um, Star Wars miniatures. If I can get one out here, I'll show them to you. A little Luke and stuff in there, and then there's a little little Tie Fighter. I'll sell those as a group. Okay, so onto the toys. So I'm gonna have to reset. I'm gonna show you a couple toys, and I'm gonna reset. We'll come back, and um, so I'm gonna have to lay a lot of this out to show you because it would just take too long to go one at a time. But. Uh, Optimus Prime, whenever I find a Optimus Prime that is in decent shape um, or one that's not just a figure that actually transforms, I pick it up. Uh, I think I paid five bucks for this one, which is a little much for a garage sale, but um, I think it's only it's missing two pieces off of it. But it still goes on eBay for 20 or 30 bucks. So. And I don't know who this is, if you, anybody does know who it is. This is a transformer, it does transform, and I sell a lot of transformers, so I pick them up whenever I can find them. So I'm gonna reset, we're gonna go over to the tables and check out more toys. All right, so this by far is the find of the day, with the exception of the um, two Tinkerbells on the right there. Yes, I got two Tinkerbells. Uh, I paid $2 a piece for them. And uh, the rest of this, all these figures um, came from the same place. It was a collector who was um, downsizing. He wanted to get rid of um, his figures. 
and he was going towards just comics. So we'll start right here. Uh, my favorite thing we got here is the Moon Knight right here. Um, I looked that up. It goes for around $50. The rest of these on the table right now are um, anywhere from now 7 to $20, depending on which one they are. I still have to look all of them up, but... Uh, the Batman animated series, I love these. I really like the Bane up there. He's he's pretty cool. I always like the the coloration on these and the the they just seem vivid and stuff. I guess to you know they match the animated series. Uh, the Fantastic Four, and we got Iron Man War Machine on the end. This gentleman also had this collection of Motu characters. Now, what I really appreciated about him and how he kept these in plastic bags is he kept them complete. So most of them have all their stuff with them. Uh, Buzz Off doesn't have his hat, but um, he does have his little axe thing and he has his, um, his wings. Web store has his backpack and um, his little hook and stuff. Two things. Orko with a pull string and his hat. This pull string goes on the line for $20 by itself for just this pull string. And this is the third one of these I've gotten. This complete He-Man Battle Cat. This is the third one I've got, and uh, I've sold the first two. So I'm glad to have another one in. Motu was a, a really big thing when I was a kid, so I really like getting these in. I really enjoy them. All right. I'm gonna turn around here. Sorry if I made anybody sick. These are the 1984, um, I think they went all the way to 86 with these. And these are the DC uh, Super Power figures. Uh, some of the highlights that I have on the table here, you, I have two Batmans here, two Supermans here. Uh, these regularly sell for about 50 bucks in the condition they're in. They, they both, have, all of them have their capes. Most of these have all their accessories. Uh, Wonder Woman even has her lasso. You can see it in there. Um, Aquaman has his trident. It's broken, but I can probably fix that. So these right here, I'm not big into comic book characters or the figures, but this particular series was huge. These toys can go f anywhere from, you know, twenty dollars on up to six, seven hundred dollars. All right. So the last group we got here, you got a Nightfall Batman, Neon Armor Batman, um, Kryptonite Scape Superman at the bottom. I'm not sure what that one at the top is. And we got a whole bunch of the Justice League of America figures. These are from the late 90s. And um, they're all packaged. They're all in pretty good shape. Some of them still have stickers on them from the store. These, uh, even, you look them up and they go anywhere from 10 to $50 a piece. So I do have multiples of some of them, including Superboy, Impulse, Plastic Man, uh, a couple Robins up there. I do believe we have a couple Aquamans. Um, only one Batman, but there's I've got three different variations of Batman, which were really cool. A Superman and a Steel. Those are awesome. All right, on to the most expensive things that I found. The 
I, I can't believe that I found this stuff. I cannot believe that this is sitting in front of me right now. I will start off with the Joker. So once again, these are part of the Justice League uh, superpowers. And uh, these ran from 84 to 86. He is 100% complete. He has his hammer. He has his coattails. Uh, this goes anywhere from 30 to 60 bucks. This is Shazam. Looks a lot like Flash, doesn't it? This is Shazam. And uh, he has his, his cloak. Um, the plastic on it is, uh, I don't know if it was originally attached on one side. I don't think it was, but he is complete. This, once again, goes anywhere from 50 to $80 in this condition. Phenomenal. Brainiac. He is a little more worn than the rest of them, but he is still in pretty darn good shape. Uh, he goes anywhere from 40 to $60. Now on to the really good stuff. Mr. Miracle. Everything with him. He has his cape and he has his uh, little uh, handcuff thingies on him there. 60 to $100 for this figure. Golden Pharaoh with his staff. Once again, he's complete. This little puppy goes anywhere from $100 up to $200 for this figure. And last but not least, this is um, considered a grail find for um, DC collectors. Uh, I can't believe it's here. So this is the DC Superpowers Cyborg. And he has his hand, and he also has both extra hands still on him. This is amazing. This is absolutely phenomenal find. Uh, when doing some research and trying to find more, uh, there's one on eBay right now who is missing an arm completely, does not have the extra hand, and they still want close to $200 for it. Uh, the last one that sold complete like this sold for $600. Uh, there, there's a couple of them on there right now for, I think, uh, right, right around the $400 mark, uh, but they do not have the extra pieces, which for a person who is collecting uh, complete stuff or and he's in absolutely fantastic shape. He's not all beat up. He's not all scratched up. He's not all he is in fantastic shape He's still really shiny Awesome awesome So that's what I picked up for this week uh it was a busy Saturday, so that's why we're getting this upload on Sunday. And uh, one last little bit of business to take care of. We have to draw a winner from two weeks ago, and I have to show you what I am giving away this week. Retro Dealer 64, you are the winner of the World of Nintendo figures. So. I will leave my email in the description below. Just uh, send me your name and address and I will send that stuff out to you. Uh, this week's giveaway. I'm going to give away two of the uh, Justice League of America figures. So we got Plastic Man and Impulse. So if you would like to enter to win these, just be a subscriber. Um, leave a comment below and leave a thumbs up on the video. That's all I got this week. So with 
Retro Reboot. I'm Dan. See ya.